What is happening, everybody? A lot of madness going on at the minute, to say the least. I've recorded, like, started to record this vlog like two or three times with my opinion and thoughts on this whole fucking coronavirus shit. It just keeps changing. Um, but I think what I am certain on is that it is fucking scary shit going on at the minute. Um, I don't really know if anybody knows what's actually going on or the extent of all this, so it's hard to know is it going to get really, really bad or is it going to kind of stay where it is? Is it going to blow over? Really, nobody kind of knows at this point, um, but it's scary. And then, obviously, yesterday I looked and, like, all the Gaelic has been cancelled, all sporting events. I was supposed to go to a concert this weekend in New York next week. That ain't happening now. Um, everything's just been shut down, and it's, it's like, crazy. I've never, I've never experienced this before. Uh, I'm sure most of you watching is the same. Um, it's crazy. Then, obviously, the Gaelic being cancelled is, like, I don't even know how the fuck that's going to be organised after this point. They're all saying everything's going to be ready to go again in two weeks. I fucking doubt it, like, by the sounds of it, it probably things will get worse in the next week or two. Um, so I just, I can't see us playing matches and for a good while yet, um, or else there'll be some way around it, but um, by the sounds of it, things probably get a wee bit worse before they get better. So what the fuck's going to happen with club fixtures? I don't know if everything's going to be condensed, what's going to happen with county fixtures? Is everything going to be extended out or condensed in? Um, all our sporting events as well. It's fucking crazy. Um, it's crazy. But what is pretty certain um, is that looking after your own health. Um, so be it eating good, sleeping well, trying to stay um, fit and healthy. It's fucking so, so important right now. And then obviously your basic hygiene things. By the sounds of it, you really can't do much else apart from fucking avoid somebody that is sick. Um, which is common sense. Essentially, the advice is common sense and shit that we probably should have been doing anyway. Um, now we just have to really make sure we're doing it. But um, I know that in the south, and probably what will happen in the north, everything is closed, like gyms and all shit like that is closed down. So what I might do is chat about it, uh, how do you maybe work out from home, how to try and stay in, in shape if you are kind of locked down at the house, you can't get to the gym, um, what you can do. Um, we haven't been affected in the north just yet but I think it's a matter of time. From a selfish point of view in terms of my business and probably other small businesses I'd say this whole thing is more likely to put more people out of business than it is to kill people. Um, unless it blows over but I can't say that so you know I know that personally in the gym we're going to probably take a hit in the next while. I know all our businesses around where I'm at are going to take a hit so it's uh, scary times. Scary times. But all you can do is manage yourself, manage, control the controllables. So um, I'm going to show you a wee clip of the workout I've done this morning. Um, you can do that if you're able to get to the gym. Um, if not, we're going to chat a wee bit after about uh, how do you remain strong and healthy from the house. I am laughing now, however, because uh, Waterford Whispers, that Facebook page, just uh, put up an uh, article. Ireland officially changes COVID-19 status from be grand. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Very true. Halfway now because the moment's 
right go. Oh, hey. Glad to see you here. Stop that whole thing. <laughs> go. Houses are all fucking locked and we haven't got to that stage right yet in the north but it's probably a matter of time um so what i'm going to do is on my instagram so quince string condition go on that there probably every day i'm going to put up some sort of like home workout you can do sound simple and not like the fucking typical step aerobic shake that's going around at the moment but like proper string condition stuff and like how you can do a half decent workout and if you're missing your running sessions how you can keep into revenge hey if you're going to hold that thing fucking hold it right <laughs> I can't get the fucking staff boys. Anyway, so that you can do some proper shit. And basically right now, the thing for that there, if you're doing bodyweight workouts, your best friend is tempo. So controlling the movement, timing the movement. Um, so this is just one wee simple tip, and I'll show you over the next couple of days on Instagram, like how you can sort of get that into workouts. But like an isometric or a tempo, how you can apply it will be, normally doing push-ups might be easy for a lot of people, especially people who are going for the gym for a while, but if you start applying a tempo of like, say, I feel some clean here. Don't ruin it. If you go down to count to 10 seconds, really, really slow, really, really slow. Those eccentric movements, that's one way to make things tougher. And the other one is when you're in the bottom position, maybe pause for 10 seconds there. If you have pull ups, chin up bars, adding them with things like tempos and isometrics make a big difference. And then, especially the lower body, it can really be effective. So, a really good one for even the hips as well. I get in my hip position here, pop up and hold. If you hold this here for like 30 seconds, your fucking hip flexors will be burning massively. Um, and then you can do like your hamstring holds, Copenhagen's, all the movements that we're doing here, but I will show you them over the next couple of days, but I don't want to go into a pile of detail and show you a pile of workouts you end up skipping by. But if you are doing home workouts and you're trying to wonder how the fuck can I make push-ups, squats, things like that harder, think about applying tempos, think about applying eccentrics, isometrics, maybe pick up somebody small in your house, squat them, something like that there, who knows. Get a milk carton, do some turns. So basically, think about that. When it comes to your eating, if you're not getting out and doing pit session, you're not running, basically just don't be too greedy. Um, think about what you're eating, think about your food as a f food as a fuel. So don't be eating a pile of food, especially pasta, everyone seems to be fucking mad for pasta at the moment. Don't be eating a pile of food if you're not doing a pile of training, you know, your, your training will dictate the food that you eat, so you might want to be a wee bit lower in terms of your calories at the moment. Um, yeah, this is very sort of gung-ho kind of uh, last minute sort of video, but I will sort of go into more detail on Instagram over the next couple of days. But basically, if you're doing workouts from home, think about adding an isometrics, eccentrics if you've got no equipment. Um, sprinting as well, obviously a fucking really important one, really good one. Um, and stay away from people if you think they're full of coronavirus and you can do it yourself. Go out fucking walking. A lot of common sense applies here. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I think I might end it here. Um, but I hope that was of some use, but go and check out Quinn's strength condition. I'll put up some workouts for you over the next couple of days. So, um, yeah, stay safe. That's all. <laughs>